Uh, yeah, man, um, be who we are, uh, you know, come back in the lab each and every day and work on our fundamentals. Um, you know, feel like, you know, um, times like this when you're 2 and um you got the hype around the team, uh, you know, things can get out of whack and, you know, uh, people can let that self-confidence lead them into some stuff that they don't need to be in. And, you know, we just need to make sure we maintain, um, you know, maintain our focus on the Cardinals this week and, you know, go in there and do what we do. How do you feel how you're playing right now? Yeah, I feel like I'm playing good, um, you know. Really don't even feel like 10 years, um, you know, just blessed um, and, you know, just getting after it. I uh, feel like we got the team uh, to do the necessary things that we need to do. And, uh, you know, we got the formula for winning down pack and we just got to stay on it. What's the biggest difference from you now to maybe earlier in your career? I don't know you got the experience in that. But. Uh, yeah, um, you know, just like you said, the experience, uh, being able to play the game is so long it's really about you know reading the offenses now um you know i know my fundamentals i know how to share blocks i, I know how to tackle you know now it's all about you know communicating with my defense and making sure we all on the same page how important is it for you to, to continue your elite and defend the run as an individual as you are rushing the pass yeah um you know i uh, feel like that's the standard of you know my game um you know i feel like i set that standard a long time ago and it's like you know, if I'm on the field, you know, d going to, you know, uh, set the edge for the run. You know, he's going to make his tackles for losses. Uh, you know, now it's all about getting the ball. How important is that on certain packages, you're able to glide to the strong side so they can't just say, all right, d logs in the left end. We don't have to worry about that side. You mm -hmm. can move and meet them where the action is. Yeah, uh, I feel like, you know, it's huge for us, uh, especially, you know, in DQ packages. Um, you know, not being able to single one guy out or, you know, think you're going to have the, you know, the drop on us like, you know, oh, I can run to this side because this guy's over here or, you know, uh, opposite. I, I can't run to D D-Law side. So, um, you know, just the package that that we have, I uh, feel like it, you know, uh, helps all of us. The Cardinals are a speedy team. We know that they don't have Kyler Murray, but they still have Joshua Dobbs, who's a dual third quarterback, but he's big. So what is the message for you in the defense, although they don't have Murray, your goal is to steal a hunt. So what are you telling them guys in the locker room, you know, trying to get them motivated? You say what their what their guys' uh, motive is? No, your guy. Oh. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, you know, we don't really care who's back there. Um, you know, we stick to our goals at hand. We stick to our style of play. And, um, yeah, man, we're going to hunt no matter who. Uh, I think it hit me a couple of years ago, uh, you know, being around all the young guys, uh, you know, trying to match their energy, uh, you know, and play with them, man. Uh, you know, it definitely brought my youth back to me. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm a little faster this year. Uh, and, yeah, man, um, it's excited to be around. You said you're faster this year. How good do you feel? I mean, you look fast, strong, as ever. Yeah. I uh, feel good, man. I feel like, you know, I had a great training camp, um, put in a lot of good work over the off season, and, you know, uh, you know, just trying to maintain and keep working on the body day in and day out. Yeah, um, you know, um, just feel like our talent is off the charts, and uh, if we want to be the team that we need to be, uh, you know, I feel like me only playing on the left side is actually hindering us, you know, because now they can say, all right, you know, Micah is always going to be on the right or he's going to be in the middle somewhere. Now we can just slide to Micah and, you know, leave D-Law over there. But now, like, if you don't know where either one of us is, uh, it makes it harder. How frustrating is you guys do so well on Say it again. I how, hear you. How frustrating is you guys do so well on defense and you, the running quarterback. I mean, you want to face another guy this week that they can run out the pocket and you Saxon. Kind of, I know y'all were mad at halftime, but the quarterback ran and, and got that field goal drive. Uh, I mean, I feel like every week uh, we're going to be facing a running quarterback because, uh, you know, how fast our D-line is. So, uh, you know, if you're not a running quarterback, uh, you're going to want to make sure those legs working on that week. But, you know, uh, you know, it's just a part of the game, man. Uh, you know, 
Like we, like I said, we have so much talent on our defense. Like the players are limited. You know, if like if you ain't making your plays when they come to you, then like somebody else gonna make it, and you know you probably ain't gonna see nothing else uh, the whole game. So um, it don't matter to us if quarterbacks running or not. Like we're gonna get them. What's it been like for you? to go, we'll go back to 2014 till now to see this defense grow into what it has and you've been here through all of it. What has that been like for you? Oh, man, it's exciting, man. Uh, you know, just understand like all your hard work that you've put in over the years isn't going in vain and, um, you know, you being able to, you know, continue to stack wins and, you know, build the type of team and the formula that you need in order to get to the top. Um, just feel like we, we continue to gradually grow and uh, feel like we're in the right space that we can actually do something special. You guys took getting the run defense where you want to be very seriously, mm -hmm. earning the right to rush. What did you see specifically from guys and the way that they responded to elevating the standard there? Yeah, uh, just being a DQ system, you know, over the last two, three years now, uh, going on our third year, uh, just feel like, you know, uh, we're getting more comfortable playing with each other. Uh, understanding each other's job on the defense and also being able to communicate at a high level, I feel like, you know, that's what's taking us over the hump. Watching the training camp, it seemed like y'all dominated the offense, they had trouble with, you know, with your defense. I'm going to think y'all prepared the offense, your offense, with the Jets and these other offenses, because it seemed like they could do things against them they couldn't do against y'all in the training camp. Yeah, uh, you know, um, they say defense win championships, and I um, feel like, you know, we set the standard in uh, training camp. Uh, definitely, you know, for the offense, too, um, being able to have that swagger when they come out there, you know, facing us each and every day. Uh, we talking trash back and forth. Uh, I definitely feel like, you know, it helps help them out uh, for any opposing team. Being the vet in the room, what's it been like observing like a Parsons growth last three years? He won defensive player of the week this week. Yeah, man. Um, you know, Micah is doing an outstanding job. Um, so proud of him. Uh, so proud of the growth. Um, he's going to continue to grow, man. Uh, but, you know, just seeing him uh, playing linebacker in college to, you know, getting here and having two years of DN on his belt and, you know, how smart he is at adjusting. Um, and, you know, his speed is off the chart, so you ain't stopping that, man. Um, definitely, you know, is a, a player that we need and I'm um, just so happy he's with us. You see Micah in the you yourself when you came in as a rookie, you matured, you got a family now. Mm -hmm. You were always the main guy that people were stopping. People yeah. still trying to stop you, but now a lot of attention is on him. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, definitely don't went through that, through that stage of my life uh, where all the attention was on me. And, uh, you know, now it's all on him and I feel like he's handling it, handling it you know, success well. Um, feel like he understands uh, who he wants to be um, when it's all said and done, and that's going to take him to the top. How have you handled the other part of it when it was you and now it's him? And yeah. Season? Oh, yeah, man. I feel like I don't handle it well also, uh, you know, being able to, you know, take a step back, understand, you know, that the role done changed a little bit. Now they're looking at me as more as a leader instead of, you know, uh, that go-getter. But, like, you know, it's still in my heart. So uh, definitely going to continue to go get it. Um, make sure uh, that I can keep up with the young buck. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna continue to grind.